After you set up your MailChimp account and select your free plan, you're gonna come to the dashboard that looks something like this. The first thing I wanna show you is how to create and send an email with MailChimp. For that, you're gonna go to the top left corner and click on create. Then you will select regular email and it will show you everything you need to send an email. You'll need contacts, we'll come back for that, your email, a subject, a preview text, which is a sentence that it will show your contact when they get the email, the sending time, and the content. Let's click on design email. Then it will show you a bunch of templates and you can select them by email purpose, industry or style. I'm just gonna select a plain one. First, I wanna add my logo. So I'll click it and then click on set logo and I'm gonna upload a file. Then I'm gonna start designing my email. First, I wanna change the text. Click the text and you can change it. You can also change the background color, the size, the alignment, or you can add borders to it. Then I wanna add an image. To add images, you just click them and then upload a file. You can also change the alignment, link it. You can link it to your website. You can add an alt text and change the background color. I want to link it to my website. If you wanna add any other featurings to your email, you just have to grab them from the left part and drag it into the email, whatever you wanna put it. I wanna add a new paragraph and a new heading. Then I wanna change the bottom setting. So you just click the bottom. I want to link it to my website. So you could just go to the left and just change the settings and the design. You can add borders, change the colors, the color of the bottom and the color of the text. You can change the shape, the size and the alignment too. Lastly, I wanna add my social media. So I'm gonna click on the buttons and then I'm gonna add my Facebook, Instagram, and X, and it will link it. Here you can see the preview of the email and you can also send a test email to see how it will look like. Then we click send in, on the top right corner and it will send to my contacts. The next thing I wanna show you is how to create a landing page. We'll go again to the top left corner and click on create and select landing page. We will name it and then we will select our audience and then click on begin. Then it will show you a bunch of templates and you can select the one that fits you the best. The purpose of the landing page is to get new subscribers. To, in order to get them, usually uh, you will have to like give them something in exchange for them to subscribe, like a discount or a free trial, for example. These are some examples of landing pages. I'm just gonna select a plain one. My logo is already there because I added it before. To change the content, you just have to click on the block, select the pencil setting, and then on the right, you can change the content, the style, or the, or the settings. I'm gonna change the content. Then I'm gonna do the same with the next paragraph, the next block, and I'm gonna change the content. Then I wanna add an image. To add new things to your landing page, you just have to grab them from the right side and drag them into the, your landing page, whatever you wanna put it. And I'm gonna upload a new file. You can change the size, the style, or link it. Then I wanna change the form. Just click on that block and I wanna ask my new subscribers for their first name too. You can also change the order of the questions. I prefer to ask for their first name first and then the, their email address. And lastly, I wanna change the bottom settings. So I want to change the color, the background and the text. And when it's ready, we're gonna go to the bottom right corner and click on save and close. Then when you have everything you need, your landing page is ready to publish. So you're gonna go to the top right corner and click on publish and it's live. It looks like this. This landing page is promising to send them something once they sign up. You'll need to upgrade to automatically send this. With MailChimp you can do automations, but we have a whole other video for that that you can check on it here. Unfortunately, one thing you can't do with the MailChimp's free plan is send an automated email. This landing page is promising to send them something once they sign up, but you'll need to upgrade out to automatically send this. This is something you can do with the free plan to, with ConvertKit, our favorite marketing software. You can check out our ConvertKit tutorial on the description below. To add your contacts, you're gonna go to Audience, Add Contacts, and then it will show you three options. You can import them from another device, upload a file, or copy and paste. I'm gonna upload a file. Then you'll tag them to identify them. Let's create a tag. And then you'll have your contact information, their first name, their last name, and their email. We'll click on finalize import, and then you have contacts. Now I wanna show you how to create sign-up forms. Let's go to audience, click on sign-up forms, and there are different 
options. A form builder is like a landing page. It will give you a link, so it serves the same purpose. Then there is a pop-up form and there's an embedded form. I want to do an embedded form because I already have a website. I'll select embedded form. Then on the left, we can change all the settings. We can change the form fields. I want to ask for their first name too, and I want to change the order. Their first name first and then their email address. And then on settings, I want to change the title. When it's ready, you'll click on continue in the top right corner and you'll have your code. Then I'm going to go to my website and I'm going to add it. And it will look something like this. Now I have an embedded form on my website. The next thing I want to show you is how to create tags. So let's go to audience and select tags. Tags is a way of identifying your contacts and send specific emails to a specific contacts. On the top right, create, ta create tag. And then we can create as many as we need. After we have our tags, I want to show you how to create segments. So an audience will click on segments. A segment is also a way of identifying your contacts and to send emails to a specific contacts. A segment can group the contacts uh, based on their tags. So we're going to go to cre create a segment and uh, create segment filters. I want to filter them by the previous tags I created. And when it's ready, I'm going to click on review segment. Now I want to show you how to create a survey. We're going to go to audience, click on survey and create a survey on the top right corner. Then we're going to select everything we want to learn about our audience. I want radio buttons and I'm going to put all the options that my audience can select. We can click on continue to design on the top right corner or we can click on finish later and it will save it. I'll click on finish later. Another thing you can see on MailChimp is analytics. We're going to go to analytics. This will show you how your email campaign is doing. We can select a date range, a comparison and filter it by message name. This will show you total sales, open rates and the statistics. So that's everything on how to use MailChimp as a beginner. But if you're still curious and want to do automations or want to learn more about uh, email marketing or email marketing softwares, you can check out this ConvertKit video. ConvertKit is our favorite email marketing software.